All right, guys. So today we're going to be talking about editing on the M3 chip. Now, this is kind of the entry level chip, and I'm actually just using iMovie here uh, to do this. And I've got some things done here where I've got some transitions, I've got themes, I've got overlays. It's not so much the video itself, this is a 4K video. And for anybody out there who's wondering how the 4K video will be handled in the timeline, it actually is great, man. There's there is no skips and stutters or anything like that. If I play this video, uh, it's just playing smooth. Simply put, there's no st no stutters or anything like that. And so, uh, looking at the transitions here from the theme, everything is gonna work just fine. If you're worried about the M3 chip, the, this is the I guess base. This is the eight gig, two fifty six gig. Uh, the entry level one, the one that costs 1100 bucks, this is that one. For those of you that pay 1100 and for those of us that get a huge discount through Apple, same difference. Uh, but yeah, this is the, the, the laptop. And I've got some pictures here, just, just overlaying it with some transitions. I've got some text, uh, just sample stuff, you know, just kind of get it in there. So we're going to export this video. And... I want to show you guys, this is a nine minute video, a little over nine minutes. And I want to show you guys, this is what you could be dealing with with a 4K video with a few overlays, some text, some transitions uh, coming out of iMovie. This is the type of um, export time you can possibly get. So we're going to export the movie and drop it to 4K. It is 2.76 gigs. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and start that uh, timer right now. We're going to go ahead and go into it. And let me let me get something to show as a timer. All right. Okay, let's go timer. Oh, stopwatch. Here we go. So let's just prop this up here like this. Well, I want you to be able to see it. Can you see that, guys? Let me let me check real quick. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that. So I'm gonna start the export, uh, and then I'm gonna let this video run. Uh, I'm gonna start it, and then I'm gonna press the start time on there, and we're gonna get it going. So here we go. All right. So now it's running, and we're gonna let it run its course, and now we'll. Check it out when it's finished. All right, guys, I sped this up to 20 times so you don't have to sit here and watch this go on the timer. But there's no edits here. Just a quick voiceover and letting you know that I sped it up. But now you'll see exactly what the time is to export this video. Let's talk. All right, guys, so I decided to go ahead and make me a cup of coffee. Take care of a few things real quick. Come back. We're at five minutes and 17 seconds still going. We're at halfway through the processing part right there. So once I found that once it gets to now, this is just iMovie and itself, not this computer. But once it gets to like half and it's which is basically it's fully processed the video, um, the exporting part takes a quick. It's very fast. So you'll see it pop up right here showing that it's ready in the top right corner right there. So uh, just take note of that. So we're at five minutes, almost six minutes for a nine minute 4K video with some transitions, some text, one text, a title. And then no, a couple of texts in without the end, the middle, the beginning. So um, notice here, it's coming up on half. So just take note of that. You'll see how fast after that it actually pushes through. I've actually looked at some of the videos that I sport. I actually have, I also have a Mac Studio M1, and it obviously is going to produce much faster than this. Uh, but there it is right there. See, um, it uh, stopped at about six minutes and... 13 seconds. I didn't hit it fast enough, but you see it popped up right there. And that is a nine minute 4K video that is ready to play. Um, we'll just go ahead and call it 615. Uh, so six minutes and 15 seconds uh, to export a nine minute video uh, in 4K with some overlays, some transitions and things like that. So, you know, it's it's really this this comes down to you know, and rem I'm not on power either. So that that gives it another thing. So if you're I know what my Mac um, book, uh, MacBook Pro 14 uh, and 16, you can be off power and it's, it's you still get peak performance. 
But you know the the benefits of having the the Air models. Obviously, they're they're thinner, lighter than the Pro models, and you get the beautiful displays. Still, you get all the things you might like about uh, a MacBook. So, with that in mind, I do sometimes 20, 30 minute videos, and all of them don't have um, transitions. All of them don't have uh, overlays. Some of them are just straight shots, but I need to edit and clip out some things that I don't want in the video. And so that's predominantly what you what you see there with the longer videos. But overall, folks, this machine can do 4K editing with ease. And if you start to use like Final Cut Pro and any other editing software that you might want to use, you're going to get some good times out of this thing. It's, it's going to work hard for you. Uh, and remember, I'm using the, I guess, entry level version of this laptop. It is great. Uh, and I do have the M2 chip that I gave my youngest son. I, I would compare those. I'd have to export this exact video on there, but it's just going to be a little bit faster. It's not going to be that much faster. But the M1, we still have a M1 MacBook Air as well upstairs, and it is still fast. Uh, it exports much slower than this. Probably would do it in, I don't know, 8 to 10 minutes. I mean, it's not that big of a difference for you to say, if you have an M1, I need to hurry up and switch. Uh, but I will tell you, the M3 chip is fast for what it is, and, and it's an impressive laptop, and I am extremely happy with it so far. Uh, I, I decided to go ahead and get rid of the 16 MacBook Pro uh, and go to this. The MacBook Pro was just too bulky and too heavy for me. Um, the 16, that is. The 14 is what I probably should have gotten, but I wanted a bigger screen, so the 15 Air is perfect, and Apple's marketing and the way they position their products is genius. The great part about the M1 MacBook Air being discontinued is that now you can get them for super cheap. Like, I mean, under 700 bucks opposed to a thousand, you know, or whatever it started at. Uh, that's a great deal, folks. That's a great deal and it will suit most people's lives. Right now, my, my wife uses a MacBook One, a MacBook M1 is still in pristine condition. She uses it all the time. She uses it for school, for work, uh, whatever she's doing with it, or just daily. Uh, as a matter of fact, she doesn't use her MacBook. She uses her desktop for more um, grinding, but like her regular tasks, I guess. But when she's wanting to do schoolwork or something like that, I think I see her in her office on her M1 MacBook Air. And I like that it's still a 13 inch. It's, it's the classic design. Uh, but this design is actually growing on me. And so I think if you're in the market for the 15 inch MacBook Air or the 13 inch MacBook Air M3 chip, I think you won't be disappointed if you're a, a content creator. There's a lot of content creators out there that, you know, and I, I do have a Mac Studio, but that's because I have a, a full office and, you know, I want to be on a bigger screen sometimes. You know, I want to sit in that position, but you don't have to. This could actually be all you have. And just plug up a monitor. Now, I do have a Type C monitor in my office, and this computer you can actually plug in two Type C monitors, and they will be powered by this device. That's incredible. But you have to keep the lid closed. That's no secret. And then you have your external mouse and keyboard, which is something that a lot of people do on YouTube as creators. I've seen a lot of people have their MacBook closed, and it's just indefinitely closed, and they're just running it out to a monitor. And I don't know which chip they have, but I see this a lot. And this is a good thing. So for me, six minutes, six, six minutes and 15 seconds for a nine minute 4K video, that is not a lot of time at all. And it's more than enough. I went away, made some coffee. Gave the dog a snack. Dog went outside, used the bathroom, came back, put up all the stuff, came back, sat down and continued to talk to you. And boom, here we are. The, the MacBook is, uh, is finished with the export. So um, comparing something like that to when I export on my Windows computers, it obviously doesn't measure up unless it has a graphics card. And um, I just prefer Mac OS, I have to admit. I prefer the hardware on a lot of these Macs. Uh, but I do have a killer LG Gram 17, and I'm about to drop a video on that as well, so stay tuned for that. But some of you guys wanted to know what it was like to edit. Uh, creators out there are way more advanced than I am uh, when it comes to video creation. You guys do way more. You, you guys have more B-roll and stuff like that. I don't because I'm making my life as simple as possible. I'm still putting out some content when I want to put out some content. But I think a creator 
who is interested in getting the 15 inch MacBook Air, I'm going to tell you, pull the trigger. If you don't have the M2, because this isn't a jump from the M2, like, you know, it's, it's just not. It's just a little bit faster, probably. But the M1 to the M3, Apple has obviously, you know, done the done their due diligence because in the press release for this or the when they talk about it they don't talk about the m2 they talk about the m1 how far ahead is the m1 and then pretty much every intel computer on the market but with that being said this is in fact a a very nice setup and and i'll probably edit this video on this mac uh or i'll edit it on the device i'm recording with which is the samsung galaxy s24 ultra i love being able to record with this device because i can control it with the s pen uh, and so with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. If you have any questions about the MacBook Air 15, the M3 chip, let me know. I still have an M1, like I said. And even though the M2, I passed it on, it, I still have access to it. I can tell them, hey, let me come by your house and check this out. But nonetheless, I don't need to do that. I use the M2 for about three months. I like it. It's not that much faster than this. Uh, but my decision to go to this it was because I left the 16-inch MacBook Pro uh, M3 Max that I bought which was blazing fast, but I still have a Mac Studio, so I was like, ah, I don't want this heavy laptop. So I actually was gonna sell my Mac Studio and just use the MacBook Pro M16, uh, MacBook Pro 16 M3 Max, but I thought, ah, I don't know. I, I, I don't wanna have, yeah, I, I wanna have an office computer and then also a get around computer. I have several laptops, so. Anyway, Shaman J, leave a comment down below what you think. You think that's a reasonable time of uh, six minutes and 15 seconds to export a nine minute 4K video with transitions, overlays? Well, you saw how I did it. So um, what do you think? Shaman J, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.